what does that mean? She like she don't she knows how to talk to you or Katie and didn't know how to talk to you. Like what does that mean? Back up on my bullshit, back up on the scene. Done dealing with you, don't know how to deal with me. Done fucking with you, don't know how to love me. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. I am Sharon. So today we are gonna be reviewing Ready to Love season six, episode three. Let's get into it. I'm still sipping on my Gatorade because this video was recorded the same day as the last one. So grab yourself something to drink. I just like for us to have something to drink so we can, you know, drink and chat. Okay, so the episode opens up and Tommy basically tells the men to choose something different that they wouldn't normally choose. And L uh, not LJ, Looney is back and LJ and Looney have a date and they seemed like they were vibing and stuff. She was like saying on a date that he was the only guy that got her number and that was like reaching out to her. So he scored some points with her in regards to that. And like I said, they seemed like they was vibing and having like a pretty good date. Samson and Sharice, aka the mean girl, they meet up, they have a date, and he liked their date. He was saying at first, like, you know, they didn't vibe or whatever, but after the date, he liked the date. He felt like the date was beautiful. There's also a group date, and they go uh to do trapeze, I think that's what it's called. And on this date is Mike, Looney, Justice, Sharice, April, I think Swayze, um, and Kayla. Now, Kayla and Mike are having a conversation and then April comes over and interrupts. And I just felt like, I would much rather, and I get like, that's probably how it's supposed to go on the show. Not probably, I know like, you know, the women pull the guys away and the guys pull the women away. Like that's kind of how it goes on the show. But I just would prefer that the man be the one to go over and be like, oh, hey, can I grab you real quick? Instead of like the women cutting in, being thirsty. I don't know. But April interrupts them and then she comes over and she's like, Oh, um, you get, he gave off the vibes that like, basically he wasn't interested. And it's like, so then why are you in his face right now? If he gave you the vibe and the energy that he was not interested in you. And on this date, he is talking to someone else right now. Why are you interrupting him? Like, I just was so confused by that. And then she was being a tad bit confrontational. And then she like, well, I'm not going to force you. Like, are you interested? Are you interested? Are you interested? I'm not going to force you. I'm not going to force you. And it's like, but you being over there right now, interrupting his conversation that he was having with another woman is you almost trying to force something because if he wanted to talk to you then he would have pulled you to the side or i feel like you saying that you got the energy and the vibe that he wasn't interested but here you are the one coming over to him you shouldn't have did that it's like i feel like anytime you gotta be asking a man or trying to get him to tell you if he is interested or if he isn't I feel like that always tells you that he isn't interested. If you even got to ask, like, you know what I'm saying? So Sharice and Mike talk and she said that his kids and his divorce, they are baggage. And I feel like, mm, don't say that. I feel like, oh. Maybe, I don't know that you should say that to somebody about their children. Like, he was, like, saying, like, nah, my kids is not baggage. Like, that's offensive to somebody to say that to them about their kids that you consider their children to be baggage. Now, I feel like we under i understand what she was trying to say that like you have extra things with you and i don't have any children and i've never been married you know what i'm saying because she later on was like you know i want to do those things for the first time with somebody i feel like she should have just said that from the beginning you don't have to say that his children are baggage like she could have just said you know what i've been 
wanting to connect with you but i do know that you have children and you've been married before and for me those are things that i want to experience for the first time with somebody who will also be experiencing it for the first time so that could kind of be like our first experience together so you know instead of being like you got baggage your kids and your divorce that's baggage so i don't know it's like oh don't say that to somebody about their kids but the convo just really went left after that. Like, I feel like he wasn't really trying to hear what she was trying to say. And then she was trying to, like, you know, clean it up. But I feel like, again, you just don't say that to somebody. Randall and Trinika, I think that's how you say her name. Is either Trinika or Tanika. They have a date. And I liked their date. I was liking their vibes and their energy and stuff. Like, I liked their day. I feel like they was vibing really good. And so far, I like Trinika. I feel like she's sweet and nice and stuff like that. So I liked their date and their energy. And then Randall also seems like he's pretty cool and chill. So, you know, they had a cute little date. So then they have another group date, the um, archery date. And in this date, uh, Katie and I think that's... I think that's how you pronounce it, Kadian. Kadian and Mike talk, and he said to her that he feels like she is uptight. And she kind of like was like, uh, what do you mean? And then like he kind of started to backpedal, but she had already picked up what he was trying to say. Um, and then she was like, Well, I feel like you uptight. Um, and that conversation just went left. Like it just really went left. And then he was saying that she was too aggressive and stuff like that. And she don't know how to talk to him. Well, he didn't say that she didn't know how to talk to him to her, but he was like saying to the next person person that he was talking to that like she know how to talk to him which implies that he f feels like katie and doesn't know how to talk to him and it's like what does that mean she like she don't she knows how to talk to you or katie and didn't know how to talk to you like what does that mean i don't know i just feel like you're the one who said that she was uptight and then you felt away because she reacted to what you said. I don't know. Like, I just, I didn't like the way he said that or how that came off. But they seemed to have clicked in their, like, little conversation that they had. Um, and he seemed to have liked her. So then they have the men's lounge. The men talk. They, for the most part, talk about their tops and their bottoms or whatever. The men like Looney. Who they don't like, though, is Kadian. Um, and I feel like, again, like I said, she was coming off a little strong, but then they tell us who the bottom girls are. It's April and Kadian. So then they go on their dates. April goes on the date with LJ and then Kadian meets with Swayze. Um, and again, while like talking to Swayze and stuff, she just was coming off a little strong. Like she had a very like, I don't give a attitude and it's like I feel like sometimes it is how you say things sometimes it's not what you say it's how you say it and so I do feel like sometimes her delivery is just a little bit strong um but he tell her what's up and then LJ tells April what's up April is the one who ends up going home and then um Katie and made a joke about like now oh, they thought I was aggressive before I'm gonna be even more and it's like no please don't do that like no um but then she later on says that you know she is she told herself to tone it down and it's like I, I yeah i think just tone it down a little bit like you know just a little bit so that was pretty much the episode i feel like these this these episodes so far haven't really been given much i feel like the beginning episodes usually don't really give much because nobody has real like connections yet i feel like the drama and the tea always usually comes like later on when people are getting more intertwined and then like dip dipping and dibbling and dabbing and all of that kind of stuff so yeah that was it for this episode give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it drop that in the comments and let me know what you thought of the video and i will catch you in the next one bye